Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Skull the Hero Slayer, the action roguelike that I have heard one million requests to play. So I'm excited to check it out. I've, I've actually, believe it or not, I have heard of this game and I have wanted to play this for quite a while. Uh, it is a roguelike action, like an action roguelike in the sense of kind of a Dead Cells kind of a game. And I'm, I'm very pumped to, to, to take a peek. I really, really, genuinely have heard amazing things. So let's get into it. Skull, wake up! Hold on, don't lose consciousness. Hey, little bone. Did this kid die as well? This kid really shouldn't die. Which... Uh, do you wanna... Do you wanna explain to me which kid should really die? Uh, person who hopefully we can find the name of so we can scold? Skeleton? Thank goodness you're alive! I guess the shock knocked you out. Wake up! Do you know where you are? Strange fellow. Anyway, such a relief. <laughs> Listen carefully. The attack of the humans has begun. The other skeletons are fighting with them. Press bam and follow the humans. Don't worry about me. I can find a leg somewhere and fix myself. Get going. Press bam to go faster. There's no time. Don't forget that it can also be used to evade attacks. <laughs> Always a good time. Leave it to you. Ooh. All right. We're in there. I mean, I love a good air dodge. Oh, little bone over here. You're safe. I can't move anymore. Press Ant to jump. Twice to perform a double jump, I believe it said. Quick, come here. Hey, hey, oh. Big trouble. They took Demon King and the officials. Humans who would have thought they strike the top floor. Me and the other skeletons are going after them. I'm running out of mana. You should save the Demon King and the rest. Take this. A bone! It's my leg bone! Press R to attack! I don't have much time. Please save the Demon King and the officials! I see we got a... I see we got an L2 as well up there. Press down and R to move down. Okay, so we got our skull back. Is that because we like went to go pick it up? Yeah. Hey. I mean, okay. I, all right. I dig that already. Hey. Good God. Ooh, can we do like a combo? Like, I don't know. I mean, I assume we can't hit our own skull, can we? All right. In we go. Well, hello there. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so not used to seeing that kind of enemy as a bad enemy. That's uh, that looks like a normal NPC. Save the witch. What a relief. Skull, you survived the attack. A cage that concealed my mana, huh? Looks like Car Carlion now has some useful mages. Skeleton guards just passed by, told them I'll be fine to save the Demon King. But a few of them insisted on trying to save me and got killed instead. Don't think the skeleton guards are enough to save the Demon King. Follow them quickly. <laughs> Let's go meow. In we go. Aren't you the Mew Guard Captain? The Mew Guard Captain? What's happening right meow? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, witch, you're safe. Little Bone, did you save the witch? This must be your first time fighting against humans. You did so well. Apologies, looks like everyone in the skeleton guard got killed. How do they, I mean, you're the strongest skeleton. Who did this? Meow, who? It wasn't a person, it was an ogre. An ogre? Why would an ogre? What are you talking about? Something was strange. There was a dark stone embedded in his body. He was in a frenzy. It seemed like he couldn't hear what we were saying. His power. It was nothing like that of any other ogre. I've met. He was too powerful. A dark stone? Little bone. I'm infuriated, but can't move any further. <laughs> yeah? Uh, take my head. I, it will, I will empower it with all the men I have left. Fight them and save our people. Buskews? Oh, okay, so we can switch back and forth between the two. It looks like there's maybe a, a cooldown down there. We can maybe... Ah! So switching between the skull gives me a second ability there. L2 is a fury of blows. That seemed like the thing that we got. And then R2. Just a big old fireball. Interesting, interesting. Switch back to this for a second. <laughs> I 
I, I love yeah, just using our own freaking face as uh, as our ability here. Interesting. Okay. All right. All right. Already fascinated by the switching mechanic. Is that the ogre the guard captain was talking about? The one in front of the castle? Meow. Hey, you. Okay. I mean, you know what? We in there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wonder, do we have iframes on our uh, on our dash there? I'm using that uh, improperly. I, I should probably be actually using the uh, you know flurry of blows there instead of the um, just the dash. Yeah, I mean it worked. It's fine. We're good. We'll get used to the game. We'll not suck in a second. But you know, right now, <laughs> actually, I don't even play a lot of games with controller on my channel. Typically, I just I I plug that in because I. Uh, this kind of game, I feel like you kind of have to. Oh, look at him. He's cute, kind of. Is that the ogre the guard captain was talking about? Come to your senses. Looks okay for now. Let's get to the castle first and talk there. Meow. Duh. Oh, it's a man. First hero. Useless fool. Defeated by a mere skeleton. Disgusting demons. Okay. First. What? <laughs> the moon was shining very brightly that night. But the boy just kept running while a dark figure chased him from behind. He tried to run as fast as he could with his aching legs, but he eventually got caught. The boy then fell on the ground, exhausted. And the dark shadow loomed over him, and then... He was a skeleton boy. Tried to watch the final moments of the boy. That poor thing. Oh my god. You're awake, Skull. Listen carefully to what I say from now on. Currently, the Demon King Castle is facing an unprecedented crisis. Hasn't been long since the peace treaty was signed and a quick ambush. It was impossible to stop as much as I would like to drop a giant meteor on Carly and <laughs> Carleon for a vengeance. Treating the wounds from the first hero's previous attack is already too much. I have no other choice but to ask you to rescue the Demon King. I can't believe I'm asking this much of a small skeleton guard. Please go and save the Demon King. Our officials and our demon friends take this. <laughs> It's a scroll containing a dimensional spell. It can help you store objects you find during your journey. Press BAMP to check the items you've acquired. Go now, Skull. Stay safe. Okay, so here we go. Quintessence items. All right, obviously that is, you know, it's our inventory, if you will. Okay. Who needs it? No fall damage, I hope! Hello. The Deep Woods, 1-1. One, one. Ah, little bone, where are you going? Are you trying to go into the forest? I don't recommend going in there right now. Look at what the forest has done to me. The ants are acting strange. The forest is aggressive. Well, ants are not really hostile, but let's say that they're being very violent. Uh, that way they, the way they glare. I'm sure the humans have done something to them after that day. Man, so many humans have appeared in the forest. You're really, you really have to think twice if you plan to enter the forest. I mean, if... You really have to go, that is. Be careful. Okay. Uh. <laughs> is there... Do we know which one's good to go? Uh, well, hello there. So we we do have an ability on R2 up there. Okay, so you're a healer. Or are you the healer? Which one's the healer? Do we have it, like... Are we going to generate a combo or something at some kind of... some point? I mean, I guess we would just be waiting for the, uh... The actual abilities here. Oh, God. Alright, should we be throwing... How much should we be throwing our skull? Okay. We got a, the big old exploding boys up there. So we do 20-something. Like, is there is there a penalty that we take? So who's healing? Is that thing up there a shrine and that, that's healing? Ah. Recovers HP. We'll wait for the old explosion. Oh, so now we have it. Ah, you fools. 
Yeah, I really, like, I don't know. I, I, I was, I'm predisposed to think that, like, removing our freaking own skull is going to be something that leaves us vulnerable in some way, but I don't know if that's the case or not. Like, I don't know if we are just supposed to be uh, peppering it in as just, like, a little bit of extra DPS. Like, maybe we are? I mean, it's pretty fun to just juggle juggle our own freaking face. Wah. Oh, hello, everybody. What are these here for? Are they just straight-up training dummies? For something? Okay. All right, so we went in the uh, the the normal color fire one last time. What's up with the um? Hawa? Oh, it's all over. Let's take a break. What the hell? Is this an infinite supply of men? This seems like a very dangerous place to be. But they, if they're gonna keep on showing up, are we just getting like? Yeah, it looks like they're just. You just keep on coming. Are we supposed to run through? It does not look like it. What? Okay, maybe there's like another shrine somewhere. Maybe if we kill all these uh, these tents, they'll stop spawning. I don't honestly. Where did it all go wrong? Or maybe there's just uh, a bunch of waves. Okay, well, it looks like they stopped spawning up there. Could not tell you why, but as soon as we get them all on the same side of me, then we're all good. I guess, yeah, maybe it's just like a certain amount of waves. Like, it's not like they're difficult in any way right now. No brain power necessary. Oh, we got a new skull. There we go. Skeleton bomber. Rare speed. Explodes. Okay. Let, we could destroy it. I'm not gonna. Uh, let's see. Okay. My foot's on fire when swapping. Increases movement speed by 100% for 5 seconds. Risky upgrade. The skill can only be used when there's 1 second or less on the countdown. When the skill is cast, resets the cool... Okay. Let's just pick it up and figure it out. Ah! So we can switch between it. We can only be used when there's one second left on the countdown down there. And then we, what, we throw a bomb? Oh! Okay. Alright, let's take a look at that again. Explodes after five seconds dealing magic damage. When swapping increases movement speed by 100% for five seconds. So I wonder if that's a passive that's always on this one or not. Skill can only be used. I guess that, like, maybe it can have a different kind of special upgrade there. Uh, rebone when head is detached, move to the location of the head. Ah, there we go. Uh, when swapping, perform a spinning attack with bone in hand, dealing physical damage. Okay, skill can only be used when there's one second or less on the countdown. Gotcha. Figure that out. When the skills cast resets the cooldown, increases the damage of the next explosion by 50%, can only be used once before the explosion. I see. So it's kind of just like a um, like a quick time event. My my thing is like, do are we gonna take the bomb damage too? I guess we we better figure it out. I suppose, right? Let's let's find out. No. Okay. So it's just, it's just a freebie. This looks like a good place to be. There's a shop here. So so we could do something like. This, in theory, we are be, we'll be okay to just go kaboom. Seems a little, a little wild. So we can throw our head and then we can teleport to it. Ah, I see, I see. I mean, doesn't look like we have like an actual attack to do with this weapon. It's just kind of like a, we have to do the bomb, the actual like blowing up thing. Is that, I didn't know if that was going to be a boom immediately, or, or what? Uh, let's see, do we even have to care? Oh, yeah, it's, I was going to say, it, it might just be a one-shot anyways. I don't know how much I love that ability, to be honest, at the, mo ooh, at the moment. It takes a long time. Okay, well, we switch back between the, between the two anyways. 
We'll be good. Womp, womp. Good morning. I wonder if we're going to get any kind of, like, aerial combo or, like, a like a dash combo on our base one. At the same time, I imagine we are probably not going to spend a, a ton of time using this uh, particular set. Anyways. Oh. See, the, the thing is, uh, yeah, if we switch to that one after uh, doing the bomb, we're in a rough spot anyways. We are slightly frail at the moment. Discolored Dark Quartz Shard. Increase your HP by 40. Heart and Sorcery. One heart, one sorcery. Ah! So if we get more in that specific category, more heart, more sorcery, we can increase the value of that upgrade. I love that mechanic. That is very clever. A very clever way of doing things there. Hello. <laughs> what? Oh, little skeleton. How did you get in? I've heard some people accidentally drift into this place, but a skeleton anyway. Welcome. This is your first time here, right? This is a subspace in the demon world that my ancestors created a long time ago. For now, it's being used as a shelter from Carlian's evasion. Evasion? <laughs> You're looking for the demon king. Perhaps you should talk to the other experts in the shelter. Good luck finding him. I'm gonna go eat some fish now. Yeah, bye. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. We have, uh, 767 bucks. When swapping, inflict stun on nearby enemies. That's pretty cool. Oh. Wait, what? It seems like it's free. Listen, listen, so I was trying to do a presentation on skeletons. Do you know why skeletons became skeletons in the first place? I figured out the reason is quite simple. It's because we have bones. The only thing is those with bones can become skeletons. It's surprising, isn't it? One more shocking truth. Slimes do not become skeletons. You know why? They do not have bones. But there's more slimes can move even without bones. Truly shocking indeed. I should do a presentation on my slime research. Is this free? It is free. Balance and speed. Oh my god. When casting a skill, hold down the button, enables it to concentrate, enhances the skill based on the duration. Good deal. When the concentrating is fully completed, yes, yes. Creates a huge barrier that pushes enemies outward, dealing continuous magic damage uh, on swap? Maybe? Is that the on swap category there? Summons a meteor to fall nearby, dealing magic damage based on the time spent concentrating. The number increases when concentrating is complete. Summons one gigantic meteor. Or Abyss Spike summons a spike from the Abyss. <laughs> Deals magic damage based on the time it's spent concentrating. Number of spikes it summons increases. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, my God. That is a huge build-up time there. Weird. Can we... I don't know. Here, let's, we'll switch switch to that there. And then we... Sh okay, so I can definitely see how you could get some interesting combos combining the two there. Uh, let's see. Recover... Re yeah, recovers 35% of HP. Increases swap cooldown speed by 50% until you clear two maps. Sure. Weird, but cool. I know we probably should have picked up one of these things instead. Whatever, you know. We got time. We got time, and I'm not gonna, uh, you know, we won't spend too much time talking all this, all these fools here. Is it Roy? Look here. One, two, three, one, two, three, I should do this too. One, two, three, four, here comes the hero. Good, good. I finish like this, and then, yes, that's me, I'm the hero. Sorry, no handshakes, how about an autograph? To he, this would even impress the first hero. I'm tired of being a puppet. Who are you? What's a skeleton doing here? Good, I could use a bit of practice. Be grateful that you will be featured in the first page of the next Heroic Adventures. Ooh, I can do this. Oh. Alright. Suppose we could, like... Oh. I wanna, I wanna charge this sucker up. Ah! Oh! Goodbye, sir! This is... God, it's such a weird character here. Super... Yeah, super, super slow, uh, slow charging there. Whoop. Yep. So we got that. We got to really want to make sure we are 
on him when we blow up here because we get that extra little AoE. Ah, that's a yeah. Ooh, strange thing. Can we? We can't. Oh, we can dash while we're charging. I see. All right. Uh, now just uh, come over here. <laughs> this is such a strange character to be played as, effectively. With all the huge... Oh! The huge, huge cooldowns. Alright. Maybe we should switch back. We should probably be switching between them, like, in between when we can. Hello. Whoop. Really make sure we get right on top of it. Ah, yeah, you fool. All right. Win there, though. Drinking that potion. The cheater. Big old cheater. Come here. Stay there. Oh, I pushed him out of it. I pushed him out of it. And he's dead anyways. I feel kind of bad. He's dead. The sword's in his back. I feel kind of bad about that, man. Uh, okay. So we got Sphinx decreases incoming damage by 15%. Solution receives the blessings of the Sphinx, nullifying damage from traps for 10 seconds. A petty thief. It's a new skull. Or explosive ointment. Fuse and swamp. Do we have... We don't have those. One hit creates an explosion that deals physical damage, decreases incoming damage by 15%. I mean, that sounds really good. Or, I mean, I feel like... We gotta go with the thing that, uh, you know, is probably the coolest to see, which would be, you know, going for a whole new, whole new character to play as effectively. Petty Thief, uh, when I got my dem demonic life insurance, I was brought back as a scout instead of getting paid out. When attacking enemies, there's a 10% chance to gain three gold. When swapping performs a backstab attack that deals physical damage, uh, Backstab swings its dagger while invulnerable, dealing physical damage, gain two gold from affected enemies. So it's like a it's like a, a farming character. Why can I not do it? Is it because I have to be by an actual enemy in order to Whoa, oh, hello. Yes, it's you. The little skeleton she mentioned. I've been waiting, promised to help you. Don't ask why, don't bother asking because I'm not helping you out of pity either. Well, that's that. Yo, you gain powers from the heads of others, but the heads you've obtained are pitiful indeed. The hands of a weak skeleton like you, those heads are not showing their full potential. Be thankful you met me. My abilities work hand in hand with creatures like you. Collect and bring me some bone fragment and I'll help you with my powers. Adding the bones to your the head you brought enables them to show their true powers. Also promise me one thing, the tell the witch that you received help don't ask why. Now go bring me some bones. Wait, hold on. What? Awaken. Are we upgrading the one we currently are wearing? Oh! Now it's a rare... It's a, it's the thief. Ooh! 10% chance to gain three gold. Uh, gold falling from enemies explodes, dealing magic damage. Uh, we also gained three gold. Okay. All right. Cool. I, you know, how many bones do we have? We have zero. All right. So we upgraded this one. It's fine. <laughs> I, for some reason, I thought it would maybe pull up a menu like, hey, which one do you want to upgrade? Ooh. I'm like quite into this character though. Anyways. Oh. Did I do my AOE thing? I think I might have. When are you gonna stop? Whoop! Ah, I tried to do the L two there. Whoop! Hello there, person who is uh in a cage. It's also like, why not just do something like this? It's super cheaty and boring. Is that why? I'm not above that. I ain't above that. Bup, 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 bup. Be free! What? You came to save me? I hunted more than a hundred humans before I got caught. They all got sent to rescue me. Uh, wait, and all they got sent to, they sent to rescue me was a little skeleton? You're kidding, right? Go bring me the demon king. What? His castle was invaded and captured? What about the witch? 
You saved her? I <laughs> like I'd believe that. The humans are strong, they're heroes, especially powerful. For now, I'll go check the Demon King castle. I'm sure I could stop them with the other senators. As for you, I don't really care. Take care. Whoop. What we got here? Oh, skeleton bomber, but rare though. Wait, was it rare before? It might have been rare before. I'm gonna destroy it. Send it. Oh, aw, oh, rude. Teleports behind you. Okay. We are uh, semi-frail. This is a true fact about us. Oh. <laughs> you just gonna just keep showing up forever? I got no problem with it. Is there money in these here crates? Whoop. Okay. Like, I mean, why, why not, right? Like, I'm just gonna try to tap shoot those. <laughs> seems seems kind of busted. I like playing as this character more, though. Ah, Carly in armor and decrease incoming damage by 15%. Did we have a combo in that? No. What's the difference between the two? I would imagine this one would be more difficult based off of looking at it there. Hello, everyone. I have a gift for you. Oh, God. I wanted to make sure it... <laughs> it went over there. Do we, like, not get money from it? Oop. Big bucks. Get the big bucks. Should be charging it, though. Goodbye. Oop. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy strong. Teleports behind you. Get out of here. All right. There's more stuff down... Oh, I mean, okay. Well, we have to go down south. Got... Pretend that was on purpose. What is that 30 by us there? We got a we got a shield? Is that the is that the regen it was talking about? Interesting, if so. Bump. Oh, I thought we would have got him there. Hey, hey! Yep. No good, no good, no good. Hey! Another one free. Spokeswoman woman of the mist. Dead but waken, the outside world is full of surprises. Yes, thank you for the help. This one's gonna... This is probably a good time to reward you, no? I'm the spokesman of the mist. I serve the god of mist. I shall share the grace of the mist god. Increase attack speed. Why not? Dearest mist god of the deep forest, I pray to thee. Uh, please bless this skeleton with the grace of speed. So that it may defeat its enemies faster than anyone. Frost Skull. Oh, when attacking with normal attack. Now, this is tough choosing between these. You know, for the sake of newness. Ooh. It's a more melee focused one. Well, let's check out the abilities here. When attacking with normal attacks, 10% chance to freeze enemies with a higher attack speed. I feel like that's a pretty good thing. Uh, when swapping, he hurls several ice fragments that deal magic damage, inflicts freeze on affected enemies. Our ability fires three glacier fragments that deal magic damage, inflicts freeze on afflicted enemies, can gain up to three charges. All right. You know what? Let let yeah. Let's just go melee. Let's let's play melee. Oh, but there's another skull. All right, fine. Uh, when dashing, teleport forward. Genie of the skull hides in his lamp, staying invulnerable, then appears dealing physical damage. Say what? Hides in its lamp, staying invulnerable, then appears, dealing physical damage. <laughs> okay. On swap, charges forward, dealing physical damage, becomes invulnerable while the skill is being cast. So, well, I mean, I guess we'll just see how that really shakes out in a moment. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. He just seems... <laughs> All right. 
fair enough. Oops, in the past I was looking around the market, came face to face with the first tier, of course, since I was in a town of humans, polymorph to blend in. Didn't think I'd get caught, so I pretended not care and tried walking past when he suddenly grabbed my arm. His ash and I stared straight at me. It was a second that felt like an eternity. I'm not sure what his intentions were, but only is, uh, wait. But he only said one thing and left. Go back. I left all my purchases there and ran without even looking back. After a few days, I heard about the market. The bishops of Carlion had found a few demons that were masquerading as humans, and they were all executed. First here, I mean, why did he help me? I see a demon. Secretly masquerading as a human. This, if that's the answer, trust me, it, it's not a spoiler. That's just me guessing. Yep, yep. Or I mean, it could be it could be the answer, but it's totally just a guess. Oops. Oh, I see. Oops. Yeah, in getting increased attack speed with the the chance to freeze there seems like a really good situation. Mm -hmm. So if we break this, we get an attack buff instead of them? Stay froze. Ah, wait. Oh, you're the one doing the little thorn on the ground thing. Ah, <laughs> I thought it would reset his attack. I like, you know, I like the idea of this, this character here. I'm free. Thank you, skeleton. We tried to confuse the enemy by striking them from behind, but there were too many of them. Should have been more careful. I'd like to repay you for saving me. Do you happen to need these bones? I mean, you are a skeleton. I thought maybe there's something you can do with it. I'll give you some of what I collected it. 59 bones. Well, how do I find that, uh, the upgrader again? Is there a way we could like pick those up? Oh my! This is a this is a chaos room if I've ever seen one. <laughs> this character, this one is so strange. Fair enough. I feel like we gotta go with the money one. Mummy! I'm speaking of. <laughs> Alright. We'll send it. You know, I feel like I had my fill of that one. Uh, Guard the Protected King, Az Azirai, uh, Azarabia of the Netherworld. Does not take damage from traps, decreases movement speed by 10% when swapping, increases movement speed for by 100% for 5 seconds. Mummy Ball. Spits out a mummy ball. It ex rolls on the ground, explodes, dealing magic damage and inflicting poison. Okay, I'll definitely uh, hold on to it. <laughs> it is a bit slower indeed. Uh, what does switching do? Okay, so we do the uh, the icicles in an AOE is what happens there. That there might have been a little bit of uh, a little bit of drop Ooh, to that there, but I was wrong. You know what, you punk? I also am freeze man. Oh my god. Okay, trying to pepper in the, uh, oh god, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pepper in the uh, ability, I was not trying to drop that on him, he just got bopped. Seems like, yeah, the, definitely is, the game tr is trying to reward you switching between the two there. Just trying to get the freeze if we could. Because we have our three charges still charging up back there. Secretly. Probably not a big benefit in stacking our curse there. Oh. <laughs> no ledge grab. Bottled embers. Tax you a 10% chance of burning enemies. Cool. Don't have a duplicate of anything yet. I like that they give you those little dummies every once in a while there. 1 3 Carly and Gates. Is boss? Oh. Uh, sure seems like he's boss. Uh, no, it's not a boss. Not at all. Are these platforms? Oh, you fool. 
Yep. Uh. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm dead. I'm gonna. I'm so dead, but that's okay. I was not in a in a very prepped spot at the moment, and I don't think we have the ability to freeze. Oh, remember the giant from Dead Cells? This is him now. Shattered. The enemy gained experience. Wait, what? The enemy gained experience from your defeat? What does that mean? Skull, I really think I have to tell you this. The day the first hero attacked us, do you remember the ogre attacked us, controlled by a dark stone? You know by now. There's no regular stone, Skull. The people who know the, about those stones call them dark quartz. They carry unimaginable power. It seems like Carlion is using them for military purposes once they begin to fully use dark quartz. They bring danger not only to the demon castle, but to the whole con continent of Harmonia. Luckily, the Carlion mages aren't capable of using the power of the dark quartz at its full potential, but we can't spare them any more time. Gather the dark quartz they have. It should never gain the power of the dark quartz. I know the right way to use the dark quartz. I'll help you by using the power of the dark quartz, Skull. The magic scroll will show you the path of the dark quartz. You can become stronger using the dark quartz. So it's just, is it just you two in here? Hello there. Doesn't look very good. This is better. Oh. Hey, it's me. It's me, Carlion. Anything else over there? Nope. Ooh. Aha. So, yes, I have been informed. I was informed. There's some dreaded meta progression in this game, so that is definitely something worth noting. Uh, but hey, you know, doesn't really matter. If we play this again, I'm probably going to be starting a fresh save file, just as a, as a heads up anyways. But boom, let's put that in there, just because why the hell not? Increases your magic attack by 6%. Uh, so that goes up to 60%, or is there diminishing returns? It doesn't look like the next one gives us another 6%. If that increases by 60%, this seems like some hefty, hefty meta progression, if that's the case. Increase, uh, so yeah, like the uh, physical attack in theory can be increased by 40%. Max HP can in be increased by 50, which is 50%. Yeah, like uh, a ton. Resurrects you with uh, with up to, looks like maybe up to 60% HP one time. Damage received by power type skulls. What? Destroy scroll items to get gold. Yeah, just definitely, definitely some uh, some meta progression stuff in the game there to make the runs easier if it felt a little bit tough there. But alas, I think that is going to do it for today on Skull for the Let's Try here. If you are interested in seeing more of this, if you want to see this series fight, let me know in the comments section below and we can do that. If this gets enough, if this gets 1 million likes, no, I don't know. I don't know how many likes my videos get. How do people know? Do they make up the numbers? Do they pull them from their butt entirely? Or do they actually care that, like, like look at the like number that much and actually feel it? I don't, I don't know. If this gets <laughs> large number of likes, I will uh, I will do a series on Skull the Hero Slayer. More importantly, if you guys seem genuinely interested in the, uh, in the comments uh, in a series of this continuing moving forward. Let me know, and we will do that. But for now, my name is Retromation. I play roguelikes and more every single day. So if this is the kind of genre that you are into, I think that I'm a worthy subscription, you know? I put out so many videos on roguelikes and more. I try to pick the cream of the crop of them. I was close to collecting 132 heads. Oh, my God. So, uh, yeah. Check out the channel. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Helps out a great deal, and I will see you next time. Bye.